and I said, you know what your problem is? You're an alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't. I did. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch, you lush. <laughs> I just don't get how these people can get high every night. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, you obviously aren't happy with your marriage. <laughs> yes, but anyone I think like a lot of today special what they do no? because okay. they're an unhappy. There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. First cut. I'm gonna turn you into a brachiola that make it the mouth water. <laughs> Pretty sure I can fit your whole body in a stock pot, little shit. Hey kid, you ever been spatchcocked before? I don't like the sound of that. Feed you corn and harvest your fatty liver. Now that's a left handed spatula. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. You knocked that bitch down to Kyle's reading level. I guess we can store your corpses in the walk in for a good six weeks. from the head chef in this kitchen. This kitchen is about to heat up. I'm gonna debone you, kid. You're about to become just another stain on my apron. Mm. Watch and learn, newbie. The coon's on deck. The rest of you, try not to die. You're gonna clean so many pots and pans for that. I'll never let you bastards steal our wine. Ah, tell me when you've had enough. I'm gonna grill you under a brick. Hold still. Yeah. Ah. You want a cream fraiche bukake with that? Hell fucking no. Coon won't last long at this rate. Violate your health code. That makes no sense. <laughs> that ought to break down your collagens. Sorry to break up the pizza party. <laughs> if they touch me again, I'm making you all bus boys. Ready for liftoff. Him 
the kai. I'm a sending you home to Mama in the doggy bag. <sighs> Coon will bring you dastardly chefs to justice. Wow, we're just making the pasta and the scalpini. Saluti. Oh. Oh. Dramatic coon move incoming. Yeah. <laughs> that went to apply some light pressure to those wounds. Someone for the coon, Fart Lord. <laughs> Not bad, new kid. One, two, I have it! Yeah. Uh. Oh wow, you see what I just did, guys? Yes, Captain, we saw it. I need. This is gonna sting. Okay, see you guys later. We're gonna go do some real superhero shit. Those carbohydrate crusaders were no match for the Kunin friends. Huh, sidekick? Clashy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I can easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Hmm, maybe we could trigger my diabetic rage somehow. Of course, with my super strength, I could knock it over, but I can't use apple juice without my insulin. We need to find a way to tip the lock. Wait, that's it? Your farts, sidekick! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Of course! The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers! We've got to get through there and get the classy, sidekick. For the good of South Park. For coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. Don't be shy. Just tell me where to stand. All right, ready when you are. We did it. The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself. But if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face. trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, diabetes! <laughs> See, I told you 
the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? Let's get it up, Classy! These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor, and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys. I don't have your keys, man. Ah! He's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive! Then... You're being unreasonable, Mr. March. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people turns and shit. Let's make this quick. Now you see me? Bet you didn't see that coming. This one's all me. Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note, tell my wife, fuck off, cause I'm fighting. Poop emoji. Ah! Oh shit, I'm still burning? My keys. Give it up, you and your tiny cube. How long have I been on fire? Jesus! Uh-huh. Classy like the way you move. <laughs> Healing in point three seconds. Money back. Yeah. This ought to do the trick. We'll never give 
give your keys. Never! Damn, they got you all weak and shit. You better not lose, nigga. Holy shit, am I on fire? She sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sherrod I was here? Hold on, hold on. Be home soon. Looking for my fucking keys. Heart, heart, exos. Take a cab. There! Nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. Aight, aight, shit. Look, all I know is there's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cool friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. 
Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are going to learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. How do you do that? That was dumb. Right, my lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, apt. Somebody call for a f fast pass? Get your head out of the clouds.
Oh, it's you again. Sup, hero? Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, Fast Pass, one of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead, have at it. Go ahead, new kid, ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a a antsy. I right, look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room. Good day.